No matter when you drop in on Bale Solutions near Indian Head, Saskatchewan, you're likely to see lots of activity. In addition to the thriving manufacturing operation, they continue to actively farm and put in a crop each year. Sales manager Daryl Webster says their farm operation showed them the need for a tire changing invention, so they came up with what they call the wheel wrangler. My boss bought a high wheel sprayer and trying to figure out how to switch the big tires over without anybody getting hurt and he came up with this idea and our engineer designed it and we put her to get test and it's been a wonderful thing. Started off they have triples on the big tractor and that was a day and a half procedure for three men. You get it down to a couple hours now with this uh, also changing the sprayer tires going from an hour a tire to 10 or 15 minutes a tire so it was designed for the farm and then it was looked at it could be marketed. The wheel wrangler is designed to be carried by power sources commonly found on farms, which usually means a tractor with a front end loader or a forklift. You can adjust your arm here out of the way. This here, you come in with a tractor or a forklift. It's got pockets for the forklifts, big ones and little ones, and it's got pockets for the buckets to hook in. Safety chains go around when it goes on a bucket. You've got low binders that tighten it on so it can't bounce off. Um, when it goes on the forklift, you just wrap a chain around so it doesn't bounce off. Here we see a forklift equipped with the wheel wrangler. The top arm can be set according to the height of the tire, and then it holds the tire steady for the drive to where it will be mounted on a farm implement. You can adjust it for your height up with this here, or when you get your, into your tire, you do this, you slide over, hook your tire on, Drive away, it won't fall off. There's no way it can come off that table. The wheel wrangler is equipped with a set of rollers to make it easier to position the tire instead of trying to physically manhandle it into the right position, which can lead to significant injury. They adjust to the, the pivot of the tire. The rollers spin nice and easy. Uh, the fulcrum here is if you get a heavy tire and you got a, a young son or something that's giving you a hand, you can get a bar push here and it'll roll the tire just, just a bit. Um, like I said, normally you don't. The tires, you can roll them nice and easy yourself. Uh, we've never had no problems with anybody saying that the rollers are seized up. We tried uh, two rollers at the first, and it just wasn't enough. The lugs would bite in here, so we added the third roller, and it just smoothed everything right over perfectly. When taking a tire off an implement, the rollers can lift the tire just enough to make it easier to remove the lug nuts. You notice the rollers are about center of the tire. Uh, he will lift it up and put a little pressure on there. We will undo the lug nuts and be able to free it off. If you happen to go back and forth between dealing with multiple different sizes of tires, you can change the distance between the two sets of rollers accordingly. Uh, you pull the pins. You don't need the forklift to do it. You can just lift it off the ground and, and they'll slide in and out. You pin them for the different, different widths of the tire. 90% uh, of the times, uh, you're going to set it and never have to set it again. You're using it on the same tires all the time. Um, your spare tires are just about the same width as your combine tires, your duals on your tractors, and everything. Since they are active farmers, Webster and his co-workers understand what's involved in farm jobs, such as changing large tires. They utilize that first-hand experience to equip the wheel wrangler with user-friendly features. When you get up, you got to step here, because sometimes you're up close, you can get up. Get your arm in, move it down. Pop tray here for the bolts. When you take them off the sprayer or the duels, you can throw them in there. You're not fighting with them in your pocket. As mentioned earlier, the wheel wrangler is used mainly on either a forklift or a tractor with a front end loader. Webster says it requires a bucket at least five feet wide. Some have asked him about mounting it on a skid steer, but that could cause some safety concerns if you're not careful. You have to look at the rating of the lift because your your lift on your skid steer is your bucket lift you add this on you're out here you're adding a lot more weight when you get the tire on there uh, we don't i don't suggest people using their skid steers at all with them unless they have a big one webster told us one person by themselves can change a tire with the wheel wrangler but it works a lot better and faster if a second person is helping out at the time of her visit they were selling for about three thousand dollars Units are presently only available through Veil Solutions, but they're looking into the possibility of selling them through dealers as well.